Throughout the course development, we will be working in a shared Google folder that I will create. Here is an example for Communications 231. When you open up the folder, you will see three documents. The first document will be the course review tool. You'll see a blank course map, and you'll see an example course map. You may also see other folders as we work throughout the development. For example, in this course, we have uh, chapter PDFs for the OER textbook that are not accessible, and we are working with the instructor to make accessible versions, and we will upload them to this folder so that the instructor can access them and put them in her course. The course review tool is a simple spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet has, um, it actually has three sections to it. So let me resize this so that you can see it. Here we go. It has three pages. The first page is um, called the course resources. And this is basically a visual check of all of the required parts of the course template. The second page is a visual check of all the uh, content. And we'll be looking at things like whether or not you have measurable objectives, whether or not the assessments, assignments, and activities are aligned with those, uh, those objectives, and also whether you have um, built-in good student instructions, etc. And then the last sheet is a list a uh, checklist for accessibility and usability of the site. And this is in align with the ADA requirements. And so we'll be looking at the accessibility of your documents, the accessibility of your media items, and the accessibility of your images. We'll be also looking at the basic usability and the design of the course. So you have access to this. You will also notice that on the first, first page in the top, your name will be in your course in the semester that the course will be taught will be listed. We have um, the phases of development are listed and we will have due dates for those that you and um, myself, Lisa Knight, the instructional designer, will determine depending on the timeline for development specific to your course. The other thing that you'll notice is that um, there's a column for recommendations, so I will go through the review first and make any recommendations um, that need to be made, um, or if something's missing, I'll note that. And then after it passes, the course passes my review, and all edits have been made, etc., then it will go through the department head or a designated subject matter expert review and the dean review. And once it has gone through and passed all the review suggestions and edits by both of these two people, then your course payment will be processed if you have a development contract. So that's the basic um, course review tool. Now we also have in this folder a course map. So let's look at the example course map. This was completed by uh, English instructor. And basically the course map lists all the course objectives. And then it shows the structure of the course in terms of what module will be taught when and how long it'll be taught, you know, whether it's a week or two weeks or whatever. And then also for each module, your measurable learning objectives will be listed. And then you will list specific reading assignments and video assignments, so content assignments. And then you'll list any graded assignments you have, and the tools, and when I say tools, I mean like, you know, if you are having them use, uh, complete a discussion, 
or create a, a presentation, the tools would be the, um, the software or the tools in Blackboard that they're using to complete those assignments, like databases, MS Word, Google Drive, um, uh, the discussion forum in Blackboard, a journal, um, blog, maybe you found a wiki site you're using, or maybe you have some flashcards you're using, some kind of publisher material, or in this case, maybe not, because these most of these courses will be OER courses. So basically, um, this map will allow you to plan out your course and the lesson that you are getting ready to go through will talk about the importance of course mapping and the importance of aligning all the content that students um, use to go through the material with the module objectives and aligning all the assignments and activities that you're going to have them do um, with the module objectives to ensure that you are in fact um, providing practice activities, review material, and ways to assess the specific learning objectives that um, you want those students to do that build the basic necessary skills so that they will be able to complete, ultimately, your course goals. And so if you look at this folder, I've got a, a blank course map here that this instructor has started to work on and they, they're starting to do the exact same thing. You just have a black one. If you need help with writing um, learning objectives, the uh, OER development training lessons go over that. And we also have a link to the Bloom's Taxonomy Action Verbs link here and some examples of those in the next box. And then once again, you may, we may be filling this, populating this with documents, um, folders as we work on accessibility. 